Right, just doing a quick little video, we often get asked um, to get corrugated sheeting and to match it into existing profiles. Now what a lot of people are not aware of is corrugated is a very old product and there are thousands of profiles. We have what we call the Bible and each one of these lines is a corrugated profile with the pitch, the depth, the crown, the trough and there are pages and pages and pages of it to try and identify them. If you're not understanding what the pitch, crown, depth and trough is, at the front of the Bible we do tell you what the different items are. Now this is available to download from our website in a PDF document so you can find it yourselves. I'm just going to quickly run through the basis of what you need to do. So, for example, we have a corrugated sheet here. Now this is a square line sheet. Some of the measurements are more difficult to do if it's a rounded sinusoidal profile. So, very simply, the overall width is quite easy. You measure it across the entire width of one sheet. The depth, again, is quite easy. It is literally from the trough to the crown. And just so you're aware, this is the trough, this is the crown. Then refers to what's called the pitch of a sheet. Now the pitch is technically from the middle of one crown to the middle of another crown. Very hard to measure. If you've got a square line sheet, the easiest way to measure it is actually to go to one edge, so the left edge of a crown, to the next left edge of the crown, because there's a much easier to define point. If you have a sinusoidal profile, the curve profiles, it's obviously even harder still. When measuring, it asks for the pitch across one crown. Now, when you try to measure across one crown, it's quite possible you're going to get some error in your measurement. And there's a lot of sheets with various little, uh, little differences across the top, and that's how you get such a large booklet. So, best thing to do when measuring your pitches is to actually get approximately 10 of the crowns. So you then measure from one, so that's one, that's the pitch of one, pitch of two, pitch of three, pitch of four, pitch of five, pitch of six, pitch of seven, pitch of eight, pitch of nine, pitch of ten. So I need to measure from there to there. So just check that again. That's one pitch, two pitch, three pitch, four pitch, five pitch, six pitch, seven pitch, eight pitch, nine pitch. 10 pitches. You then take this measurement and divide it by 10. This will then reduce your error in your measurement. I hope this has been useful for helping you to identify the profile 